Hey, Robin here from Post Professionals. Here, just one chapter from one of my longer videos for easier access. But if you prefer to watch the whole thing in one go, you can find the link either up here or down in the description. Either way, I hope you enjoy. And if you do and it was helpful, maybe do me a solid and give me a thumbs up or even smash the old subscription button, which really helps the channel. Thanks, and now this. So anyone working in any of the social media spaces will really appreciate this next one and has probably been waiting for it uh, for a while. Final Cut now has various project presets to suit various social media aspect ratios. To see which those are, I can simply hit Command N to create a new project and then click Use Custom Settings. Clicking the video pop-up menu shows me that below the usual 10 video preset categories, ranging from 1080 to 360 VR video, we now have two additional options, vertical and square. Selecting vertical and then the resolution pop-up shows me that I now have vertical, HD, full HD, as well as UHD resolution project presets to choose from. Switching to the square format, we see that we have 720 and 1080 resolutions available. Obviously with all the necessary frame rates as well. But again, there's more. Because in conjunction with the new aspect ratios, Apple has added a brilliant new smart conform function. This feature is actually intended for any situations where the aspect ratio of the media and project don't match and it automatically readjusts scale and even position as needed so that the media fits the new aspect ratio as best possible. And there are two ways of using smart conform. Let's take this project as an example, a short little commercial I made a while back. Scrubbing through it, we can see that there are various shots of this gentleman in his car, as well as this attractive young lady who eventually walks across the street. And in the end, there's her in the reflection of a window with this other gentleman. Now let's just assume I wanted to make a square version of this for social media. I could do this the hard way and the way one would have had to do it until now, and simply duplicate the existing project, for which I simply selected in my event and hit Command D. Select the copy and hit Command J to edit its settings. Here I'll select square and leave it at 720 by 720 and hit OK. Opening the duplicate and scrubbing through the timeline, I can see that the project is square, but all the clips are simply placed in the middle of the canvas, resulting in everything being very generously letterboxed. So what can I do to get them to fill the viewer? Well, I can obviously go through each clip, scale it up and reposition it as needed, but we now have Smart Conform for that. I can either select all the clips or just one, for example, this one with the girl waving, and then go into the Modify menu and here select the new Smart Conform. And after a short analysis, we can see that the clip hasn't just been scaled up, but also repositioned to fit the girl into the center of the frame. This is because Final Cut uses a variety of video analysis techniques, face detection, etc., to find areas of interest and then uses heuristics to set the transform appropriately. But let's look at a much easier way of doing this entire process. First, I'll delete my duplicate project. Now I can simply right click my original project and can see here that I now have three options for duplicating. Next to the usual duplicate, and duplicate as snapshot, which is now simply called snapshot project, which I think is a smart move to reduce some confusion I've seen in the past, I now have an additional duplicate project as command. Selecting this takes me directly to the same dialog window when setting up a new project. Here I can rename my project with a square 720 at the end and go into the video format and select square. Now the key is to select the Smart Conform checkbox next to the video format that has now become active. This will always become active for any project I am duplicating where the aspect ratio is being changed. So if I were to go to 720 or 4K, for example, I would not have the option to Smart Conform since these two are 16x9 formats. 5K or Vertical, on the other hand, would make it become active again but I'll stick with square, activate the Smart Conform, and simply click OK. The dialog box closes, and Final Cut does a short analysis of all the clips in the timeline. But afterwards, I'm also presented a message showing me one of the small limitations while Smart Conforming, namely that clips that have a crop can't be conformed. I'll click OK, 
And if we look at the timeline, we'll see that the one clip with the young lady in it wasn't conformed, which is why it's centered in the viewer, because it in fact has a Ken Burns effect applied to it. But if we skim through the timeline, we can see all other clips were reframed using Smart Conform. And while something like this is of course never perfect, and will very much depend on the content of the clips to what degree they are optimally positioned after the conform, we can see that the clip towards the end, where we see here in the reflection, that Final Cut even managed to position the clip perfectly so that we can see both characters. So again, while probably not perfect in every situation, it's certainly at worst a huge help to get one started when conforming a project. Obviously, I can still go in at any time and to any clip to readjust it if needed. For example, this clip where we see the girl waving, we should actually also be able to see the man sitting in the car in the foreground. So I can go in and reposition it accordingly. And that actually leads me to the next very cool new feature in Final Cut Pro when it comes to transforming clips. A feature that motion users will be very familiar with since motion has had this option for as long as I can remember. To see it, I merely need to activate the transform controls, be it via the button at the bottom left, via a right click on the viewer by activating it in the inspector, or simply by hitting shift T. <laughs> with that, we get the familiar transform controls and some buttons along the top of the viewer. But if we look closely, now, there's an additional button to the left of the reset button. If I scale my clip without it active, I'm only shown the clip content within the boundaries of the viewer, as it's always been. But if I reset that and activate the button and now scale and or reposition my clip, we can see we're shown everything beyond the viewer boundaries in a semi-transparent representation. This is, of course, super helpful in a situation like this, for example, to judge how far I can go or if I can even go further, all the while seeing how much room I have to play with. Or even when animating something outside of the frame, for example, to not lose sight of it. Literally. <laughs> and if I leave it active, zoom the viewer back a bit, and scrub my playhead through the project, I can even quickly and easily see how much of each individual clip was in fact cropped for it to be conformed. For example, we can see that the clip with the girl in the reflection was in fact moved to the right quite considerably to fit both into the frame, completely ignoring the guy on the right. Very nice. Oh, and to top it all off, if you check your titles browser and scroll to the bottom, you'll also find a new category called social. Here you'll find a collection of 13 fairly basic titles that in fact also conform to whatever aspect ratio of the project you're using it in is set to, specifically if you're using it in one of the classic social media aspect ratios. So say for example I go back to my 16 by 9 project and connect the lower third news title from the social category to one of my videos, we can see the title in the far left corner. Now if I go back to my square project and connect it here as well, if it didn't have these additional aspect ratios, or snapshots as they're called, embedded into it, then it would of course appear somewhere outside of the frame to the left. But as we can see, the title recognizes the square format and repositions itself appropriately so that it is correctly in frame. This is something you can easily set up in motion when creating your title or template, or even after the fact should it not be displaying correctly. It's not actually a new feature, it's in fact been there since version 5.0, but it has been improved a bit. And if you're interested in knowing how to go about preparing your custom titles or templates so that they work in each aspect ratio, then stick around for the part where I talk about the new features and improvements in motion. So, was that helpful? Again, if so, then maybe give me a quick thumbs up or even hit the subscription button and little bell to help the channel, which allows me to can continue to produce these free tutorials and so you don't miss future ones. For that, a huge thank you in advance and I hope to see you in the next one or maybe in one of these videos that YouTube thinks you need to have seen as well. Either way, until then, take care. <laughs>